Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module four of grade two. Write your name there first. We're gonna start off with some mental math. Six minus five is one. So 26 minus five is 21. 26 minus six is 20. 26 minus seven is 19. 8 minus 7 is 1. 58 minus 7 is 51. 58 minus 8 is 50. So 58 minus 9 has to be 49. Keep this in mind. This is the trick here for both of these. That's 50. If we subtract one more from the same menu end, our difference is going to be one less. Subtract so more, you have less left over. Solve using your place value chart and place value disks. Unbundle a 10 if needed. Think about which problems you can solve mentally too. So the 36 minus 5, I'm going to do, uh, these are going to be hard to do in this little space here. So I'm just going to do a few of them by example. Tens and ones. 36 minus 5, we need 1, 2, 3 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. This one's not so bad. Mm. Take away five, there's your five group, 31. Didn't have to unbundle anything. Now, if you think about what we did up here, 58 minus eight was 50. If we take away one more, we have one less left. Well, here we have the same menu end, right? 36 and 36. So if I take away two more, I should have my difference should be too small, or it should be 29, right? And let's see what happens if we do this on our little chart here. Start, we'll do this one here on the chart, 36 by seven. There's the 30, one, two, three, four, five, and there's six. Now, we can't cross out seven here. So we have to unbundle the 10. And for that 10, we get 10 ones. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to subtract seven. So from this little 10 frame, that means we're going to have three left. Two tens left. And six, seven, eight, nine, 29 left. 37 minus six. You see this seven minus six, that's one, so it's 31. And now we have 37 minus eight. Now if you do this in a chart, tens and ones, one, two, three, 37, is our menu end, one, two, four, five, six, seven. And if we're gonna subtract eight, we can't cross out eight. We have to break up a 10 for that. Unbundle a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're subtracting eight, so that means we're going to be crossing out all except for two of them, because that's what you have when you take away eight from ten. And what do you have left? Two tens and seven, eight, nine, ones, twenty-nine. And if you think of it, right? Our, sub our menu end is the same, 37, for both of these. If we take away 6, we have 31. Now, with 8, we're taking away 2 more. So our difference should be 2 less. 31 minus 2 is 29. So I'm going to look at the rest of them thinking that same way. 40 minus 5, 30. Five. And 41 minus 5, well, 
if our minuend is one more, then our difference is going to be one more. 36. If we start out with a little bit more, we're going to end up with a little bit more, as long as the subtrahend is the same, which it is, they're both minus 5. Now we're back to this one where we've got the minuends are the same, but our subtrahends are different. So let's just figure out the first one. 58 minus 32. This is a little more complicated. But we're looking at the 8 minus 2 for the 1s, so there'll be 6 1s left. And then we'll have 2 10s left, because it's 5 10s minus 3 10s, 26. Now, if we're taking away less, we should have more. And the difference between 29 and 32 is 3, so we should have 3, we're taking away 3 less, so we should have 3 more left. 29. And you can always just keep drawing these, keep drawing these charts. And I'll, here, I'll, give, I'll do this last one, this last example here. I'll do that one. 58, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tens, and 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And to subtract 29, I can't take away 9 ones because I don't have 9 ones, so I have to break up a 10, which means I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to take away 9 ones, so I'll just have one of these left which leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 10s, and, wait a minute, 4, 10s, and 9, 1's pretty good. Uh, but I check this because I, sh I shouldn't have this many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10s, and I'm like, well, I gotta cross out two tens still, right? So, uh, uh, there. I almost forgot to subtract my tens. So I gotta fix that. I had it right the first time. It should be 29. All right. Now the rest of these, I'm gonna look at 60 minus 26. So. That's going to be mm -mm. don't have any ones to subtract, so I have to break one of those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going to cross out six of them. And that leaves me with four ones left, and then I still have to subtract two tens that leaves me with 34. Now this is 62 minus 26 which means it's two more. My minuend is two more so my difference and my subtrahend is the same so my difference is going to be two more. 36. 70 minus 41. Tens and ones. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. I don't have any ones to cross out, so I'm going to have to break up one of these tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten ones, and I can subtract a one. And I still have to subtract four tens. One, two, three, four. What do I have left? 29. And here we're looking at, if this is 29, we have the same subtrahend, 41. But if I started out with 10 more, I should finish with 10 more, 39. Now we can solve and explain your strategy. My explanation here is going to be, Here's my explanation right here. 
I'm going to subtract 27. It's going to be, can't cross out seven ones here, so I'm going to have to unbundle a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cross out seven of them. And then subtract two tens. And I have one ten and four ones left. So there's the explanation of my strategy. Done. So that that's explain your strategy means you can't do this mentally and just write down a number. You have to show how you did it. And other ways you can do this too. You don't you don't have to use this method. You could use the arrow way. I'm going to subtract 28. I can subtract 10 for 57. I could subtract 10 more for 47. And now I have to subtract 8, but I don't have 8 ones. So I'm going to subtract 7, which gets me to 40. And now I still have to subtract one more 39. The number of marbles in each jar is marked on the front. Miss Clark took 37 marbles out of each jar. So how many marbles are left in each jar? Complete the number sentence to find out. So she took out 37 out of each of these, so it's always minus 37. One of my favorite numbers. Forty-five. So this one's going to be forty-five minus thirty-seven, and this is going to be fifty-two minus thirty-seven, and this jar is going to be forty-eight minus thirty-seven, and this is going to be fifty-five minus thirty-seven. Well, this should remind you of some of the work we've done on the first first page. If we can figure out the forty-five minus 37. The 48 minus 37 is going to be three more. And the 52, when we figure that one out, the 55 minus 37 is only going to be three more than that one. So we really only have to solve two of these and the other two we can do mentally. So if we do the 45 minus 37, here we go, tens and ones, we're going to use this method. One, two, three, four, and ones. One, two, three, four, five. Take away 37. We don't have seven ones. So we have to unbundle a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can cross out seven ones and three tens. So seven ones is going to leave us with three. Now we cross out our three tens. We don't have any tens left, but we do have eight ones. And so if we look at the 45, we know we see we're going to have three more than eight, so that's 11. And then now we'll do the 52. All right, so that's that one there. And this is going to be that one there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And now I can't cross out seven ones because I only have two. So I have to unbundle a ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get ten ones for that ten. Now I can cross out seven ones. Three left, because seven and three make ten. And then we can subtract three tens. I have one ten left and five ones. And so 52 minus 37 is 15. 55 minus 37 is going to be three more because 55 is three more than 52. I should have 18 left. 